All right, I'm back. It's successfully updated the firmware to 1.0. And uh, let's go into the settings here to show this new firmware. Scroll down, about, and you can see version 1.0, build date April 16th. So let's, you can see here it has a battery section, tells you the battery and the voltage of the battery. Uh, mine is at 53% according to this. The firmware page allows you to validate the firmware. I'm going to validate it. There we go. Time format. You can choose between 24 hour time format or 12 hour, which I'm going to go with 12 hour here. Looks like it's already selected actually. Um, because I live in the US, so you know, everybody uses 12 hour time format here pretty much. Um, wake up. It has a race list, wrist selected, um, which means it should wake up on wrist tilt. Yep, there we go. And then there's also tap settings as well. Let's select double tap here and turn off the display. And double tap, and it wakes up. I'm going to set it to raise wrist. Now, there's also a display setting here that you can control the timeout of the display. Um, and then there's also a brightness toggle here in the main settings area. A flashlight feature, just like Wasp OS has, that allows you to see in the dark. Very handy. And then a notification toggle here, which is very, very nice to have it right there. And I really love the color. I really love the color of it. It's kind of hard to see on camera but it's a nice bright green in the background with a white uh, accent for the icon itself. Very nice. Um, as for time, let's try syncing this. Go back to this and then connect. And it's synced up. There we go, 12.06 AM. April 17, 2021. Um, Let's scroll down. This is the heart rate thing. Um, it's an app. It doesn't actively track your heart rate, but I'll put it on my wrist here. It does work. Let's turn this on. You can see just like Wasp OS, it has the green flashing light in the back there. Let's sit. It's probably not going to be accurate because I did move it while it was scanning, so we'll let it scan. Six, seven. I wonder if you can go back to the main menu while it's still measuring. Oh yes, you can, wow. So you could have it actively measuring your heart rate the entire time and it will show it right here in the main menu. Very, very neat. Now about the pedometer, that is right here. This uses the accelerometer to see what orientation is the watch I'm assuming is in and also, you know, vibrations I guess and it counts your steps it seems to be working pretty well it's not counting like vibrations of shaking my wrist or anything as as steps so we'll have to see if that works in uh, daily life or not but it seems like the heart rate sensor is still going I'm gonna turn that off to say battery don't really need it going don't use it um, it has this version of Infinity Time also has the uh, navigation app that was introduced a while back that gives you step-by-step -step directions if you pair it with a maze fish and also, um, I, I believe it's a maze fish at least, and also um, pure maps as well. And that will give you, on the watch, arrows basically, like go straight 200 meters, turn left 200 meters kind of thing. And it will help you step-by-step -step navigate using your phone GPS, obviously, because this watch does not have GPS. It only has a, a pedometer slash accelerometer and also um, a vibrator, touchscreen button, and, you know, the heart rate sensor in the back, basically it. Um, there's also this music pairing app here that you can sync up with your phone, and it allows you to play and stop video in my case because I have KDE Connect synced up on my phone so I have a video that randomly opened up on my YouTube here haven't watched it yet but let's see I can start the video from here I think 
you won't be able to hear it because I don't have my audio on speakers or anything, but it is playing on my monitor here with my computer, so it does work. And if this was music playing on my desktop, which actually I'm going to switch to music real quick on my desktop computer, just to show that this works, this, hap this will work with Wasp OS as well, mind you, or any other Wasp watch firmware. It's not dependent on the firmware itself. It's just that KDE Connect tells it that it's playing music on your phone when in reality it's just carrying over what's playing on your desktop to your mobile phone so you can play and pause it on your phone. Um, and in this case, that also means that you can play and pause it from your watch, which is actually very handy. Um, I think that's handier than the phone itself because I don't really play music on my phone. But on my desktop computer, I occasionally do. So, let's see. I'm going to play a Marty Robbins song, so let's open the app here. Oh, just went to sleep. There we go. Marty Robbins, the big iron. I can pause and play the song. And it is pausing and playing on my screen. And it's switching to the next song in my playlist. And it gives you a little nice animation on the top here showing a spinning track. And then the time of the song, which does appear to be correct, yes. Very, very neat. Um, so, there's also, as a final app here, a stopwatch function, which allows you to stop and, and play the stopwatch. Well, not play, but stop and start it. And then you can also take laps. It allows you to take two laps. So press this flag one lap, press this flag two laps. And then when you press it again, it overrides the originals. Oh, actually, it does count more laps. It's just that it goes up. I wonder if you can scroll then in that case. No, it doesn't appear to be the case. I'm not sure how you would view the other laps then. I guess it's, you know, it only shows two laps anyway, so... It's still a very handy feature. I would like personally to see an alarm feature though before I use this as my daily driver watch uh, firmware because I've been quite happy with Wasp OS simply for the fact that it has the alarm feature. That haptic alarm is extremely useful as a backup alarm in case my phone doesn't go off or whatever. And uh, having the vibration on your wrist really helps to gently wake you up and get you to notice it. And, you know, it's just a very nice uh, backup. And if you use the Pine Phone, for example, Pine 64's Pine Phone, then having uh, the Pine Time alarm would be almost essential for me, at least, because of the fact that the Pine Phone isn't exactly the most reliable right now. Uh, I'm sure it'll become reliable in the future, but I wouldn't want to trust it with alarms and such, which are critical. Like, you have a meeting in the morning, you don't want your Pine Phone to not wake you up, you know? So having this as a backup, which has been rock solid with Wasp OS on alarms, would be amazing. So hopefully that comes soon to Wasp uh, or to Infinity Time as well, because that would make mark the time that I'd be switching. I mean, th this is a beautiful interface here. I think it's got a much smoother um, rendering time for the the graphics on the screen. Like when you scroll through each section, it takes less time, um, and it does it does have some neat stuff. I guess um, for example, it has a game uh, of Pong in here. It also has a game of uh, let's. There we go. Bounced off the wall. That's that's uh, Pong there. It also is a game of uh, like 2048, I think it's called. It's a Linux game that's pretty popular. Um, you can kind of see it there. Yeah, it's the grid of tiles that you can move around. Kind of neat. And then there's this drawing app, which I think is pretty much useless, but I guess it's still neat to see anyways. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, if it gets a alarm feature and maybe... Uh, I don't know, like a weather feature as well, like to tell you the weather, like WaspOS recently uh, has in, in queue for merging. Someone made a, a weather app they want to get merged. Um, then this would be an amazing watch OS, and I'm glad it's also the default one, quite frankly, because it's very polished. It's just missing a few things for me personally, but I could see this being quite usable for people already. It does heart rate monitoring. It does step tracking. It tells the time in 24-hour, 12-hour mode. And it syncs with your phone and tells you notifications, you know, calls and texts and stuff like that, I believe. And you could set the uh, notifications to go silent if you want, which means it won't vibrate on your wrist to notify you then. And then, of course, the, the flashlight feature, I think, is insanely useful for not stubbing your toes in the dark and preventing injuries when you're stumbling out of bed at night. So it's uh, 
overall, I think this uh, has a lot of promise, and I'll definitely be watching it with a keen eye because um, I, I absolutely love this new UI re redesign as well. It's nice and sharp and looks nice and colorful. The camera really isn't doing it justice from what I can see here, but in person it looks nice. Now, one thing I will note is that the color reproduction of this Pine Time display is horrible. So these colors that you uh, that you would see in person um, are actually specifically crafted for the Pine Time, right? It, if you chose a red from like a, a phone screen, it would not be the same red as what you get on a Pine Time. But you know, it's twenty-five dollars, and also you don't really need color accuracy on a watch. I mean, are you watching video on your watch? No. I mean, that's my view on it. Twenty-five dollars, it does a lot. Um, and yeah, there's a few cons here and there. Like, it's not perfect. Obviously, the color reproduction is not great. It doesn't have any microphone or speakers or anything like that, and it's very limited in uh, terms of processing power. But you don't need really anything else. It's a watch. It tells you the time syncs to your phone and gives you some notifications, you know. So with that said, I think this is a great release of uh, Infinity Time. I am probably going to be going back to Wasp OS, but it is what it is. I'll definitely be looking into Infinity Time in the future and see if they add that alarm feature. And if they do, I'll probably jump over. Um, one thing I, I think I mentioned earlier in this video, they definitely improved the update time. It, it is a huge improvement as well there. Um, so overall, this is a big release, and I, I look forward to them releasing version 1.0 fully, as well as making Pine Times officially released for consumers with Infinity Time installed.